As much as I'd love to take you guys to North Sea, that tackless tiger took my boat! How are we gonna get there now? Hmm. I wonder if we can get that lighthouse working again. Good idea, Mimi. If we manage to get that lighthouse working again, then a ship might come close by and they might take us to the North Sea. I'll go check it out. You guys wait here. Wait, I should help you. Okay, sure, come along. Count me in. Hey, George, are you coming? No, I... I think I'd rather stay here. I need to reflect on what just happened today. I'm exhausted. Alright. Okay, you guys go to each building and find something that can get that lighthouse working. Sounds like a plan. Ah! An infected! Thank you? No problem. So, how do you think Giraffe is doing back at the factory? Will it hurt? Well, yes, but hey, at least it's better to have the bullet out instead of having an infection. So just relax and hold still. Ah! I'm pretty sure he's doing fine. After all, they say they were going to take care of him. Hmm. Hey Willow, did you find another battery? Yeah, it's right here. Thanks! Is anyone in there? Ah! 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 What is that? Oh, yeah. What is this thing? Ah! Oh my God! What is that thing? I don't know. Who's attacking me? Get this thing off of me! Oh, uh, uh, here, of me. Oh. Ah! Hmm? Do you hear that? Pardon me. I hear something, Mimi. It's probably just the sounds of the ocean wind. No, it's not. It's not. What is going on? You just touched a child! <laughs> you don't touch my child! <laughs> Sorry. What on earth is this thing? This abomination jumped right at my face and tackled me. Yeah, tell me about it. But I'm glad we took it down with... Is that important? Okay, cool. Anyways, did you put all the batteries in the lighthouse? No. This thing made me drop a battery into the ocean. What? Okay, it's fine. We cannot give up just yet. We need to think of another plan to get across the ocean. Who here can conduct electricity? What? What are you looking at me for? Are you sure we're doing this right? I don't think this is how piggy physics work. Well, my film, my fancy. Pony, tell everyone to cover their eyes. Got it. On my mark. Now! Guys, cover your eyes now before it's too late! Oh! oh blimey, that is bright! I hear a ship, let's go! What we just did literally made no sense. It worked! Yeah, I think it worked a little too well, don't you think? Well, at least it was enough. Hello? Is anyone there? They gotta be here, they just drove the ship. Who goes there? <clears throat> Avast ye filthy landlubbers! My name is Captain Budgie, Captain of the Medora. Were you the ones who lit the lighthouse? I'm so bad at pirate accents. That'll be us. We need your help. Blimey! You board my ship and ask me for help? This isn't a charity! We don't have time to waste. We need to get across the North Sea. And fast. Sink me! Across the sea? On the Medora? You have lost your minds! We aren't going anywhere, I used what fuel we had left to dock here. And why do you have pillows on you? I, it, it's a long story. I wish I could be saying it right now. Oh, shut up, kid! Don't you have any spare fuel? Aye, but it is not possible to get to it. Why would that be? 
Ever since Davy Jones cursed the world, my hearty swayed the anchor and left the sea. Then, we found one of our mates had Davy sickness. One by one, they fell. I had no choice but to seal them in the lower levels of the ship. To this day, the ship remains sealed alongside the fuel reserves. Alright, let me go down and get the fuel for you. Then, you'll take us across the sea. Blimey, you're not serious! The crew will tear you apart, you cannot go alone! You really think I fear the infected? If they saw what I could do to them, they'd fear me. Oh yeah, those are straight facts. You should have seen what she did to us before all this even happened. I, I thought the same thing in myself. But do you want to know what they did to me? You lost your hand to them? Goodness no! I lost this to a swimming pool axe- uh, No, I lost my crew to them. I'll go with you then, Willow. It's best if you don't. I may even end up mistaking you for the infected. If we want to find that cure, then we need to work together. You're the only one who knows where it is. We need you alive. Fine, whatever. Just stay clear of my kicks. Say, Captain, do you know where we'd be landing on the other side of the sea if we pulled us off? Aye, we'd be landing in Doveport. Doveport? I know an engineer from there. I wonder if he's still there. Good luck, you scallywags. I'll unseal the ship. Try not to feed the fish down there. Why do you keep disrupting me, kid? Because I'm still upset about what you did to us today. The past is the past. There's no going back now. Look into the future, kid. That's where we're at right now. So forget it. Kid. Hmm? Kid, snap out of it. Do you understand what I just said? I don't have to listen to you. But I'll make this a one-time exception. Fine. What? Alright! I unsealed the ship. When you landlubbers get down there, make your way to the hall. The fuel should be there. Got it. Let's get going. Alright, where are they? Because I'm ready to kick some infected- <laughs> Infected. Yeah, that's right. We want to be family friendly here. Jeepers, there's one! I think we should get out of here. Well, don't be such a baby! Oh. Uh... Willow? What? Huh! How do they all even get here in one place? I don't understand! I don't know! Take them down! Wait, Lego Piece, do you still have my weapon? Oh yeah, I do. Well, that was convenient. How come I didn't use this before? Yeah, it's that good. Anyway, we should go now. Willow? So this is all the fuel that's left? There's barely anything! It should be just enough for us to get across the sea. If it gets you to shut up, then I'm all for it. <gasps> Willow behind you! No, no, no! Great, fantastic! Now we're stuck in here! How did the door even appear like that? I don't know what witchcraft these infected have. <gasps> Wait, can you use your suit to barge the door down? No, I can't, Willow. Since my suit's broken, I don't have enough strength to do anything but wear it. Rats! Well, since we're trapped in here, I guess we're gonna need to learn to get to know each other. I'd rather get to know a sewer gator than a dirty cop like you. I'm a teenager! What?! I thought you were an adult despite your voice and job! We're literally the same voice actor! <laughs> I was following my orders, Willow. I was doing my job. So was I. I was protecting my family. There was nobody in the room when we searched it. That's because you cops took them away from me! I haven't seen my parents in over a decade! Now tell me, where are they? I don't know, Willow. I don't have the records on me. You're right. Because you're just another cog in a big machine, that's all you'll ever be. Willow, do you not even realize how I felt when me and Doggy took you away? Oh yeah? What is it? I wanted to help you, Willow! It didn't seem right for me to arrest people who are struggling to survive. I wish there was a way to change that. But we're not Congresses. We can't change laws. 
So we have no choice. And besides, you're not the only one who lost everything, Willow. There's right now a kid on board with us who lost his entire family from the infection. You took Sissy away from us like it was nothing. I didn't know, okay? You knew what you were doing. It seemed like you didn't care at all until you found out she has sisters. I do care! Look what I'm doing for you! I'm helping you guys find a cure! But that doesn't mean this isn't going to redeem yourself! You did bad things before we met and you know it. This is a one-time mission and there's no going back. Yeah, like if we mess this up then we'll lose and I'll die in the end! I'm sorry, I just... I got a little carried away. Back in the alleys, I thought you were just another cold, heartless cop here to arrest me for no reason. But you're right. I did a lot of bad things in my past and I hurt a lot of other people too. So, releasing my anger was the only thing that could make me feel better after my brother... ...left me. I understand, Willow. I'm sorry if I exaggerated too much. I didn't mean it. Sometimes, not everyone can change. But, I can still see some good in you. If we want to stay alive, that we need to work together, or else we'll just end up hurting each other and ourselves even more. Rock, paper, scissors, you! Oh wait, we don't even have any fingers. <sighs> Why do I always gotta be the one who handles everything here? Hmm? Susie, PG Chilego and I for five and Willow are in trouble. Wait, how do you know that? Don't make me say it. What? Forget it, tell the others. Guys, PG Chilego and I for five and Willow are in trouble. What? We should help them. That shall do it. See, please watch the infected for us while we're gone. Willow, I'm not mad at you. But, if you're gonna keep acting like this, then it's not going to benefit us. I want to help you, so I ask you to do the same thing for us. Okay. Now I understand why George has been acting very stubborn ever since I took Zizzy away. Do you think I should talk to him if we ever get out of here? Of course, but it's going to take a while for them to here. realize- Whoa! How'd you find us? We got worried. None of the infected were to be found, so we searched a ship until I found the significant heat signal coming from this container. Actually, I took care of them. Z's watching them upstairs. Oh. Anyway, we've got a mission to follow, and a friend to meet. George, the little rascal, ran ahead and heard you two from inside. Hey, don't call me that! I was just trying to help! Yeah, for once! What?! What are you guys talking about?! I've been helping you guys for the majority of the day! You know what? Come follow me. I got something to show you all. We should put the fuel in first! Oh. Right. Wait, see, where did the infected go? Never mind, I'll go search for them myself. Okay, for some reason they were nowhere in the ship. So, what's wrong with Willow? Oh, uh, we argued while we were stuck in the crate, and I won. Oh, nice. When I was with the Silver Paw, me and Willow always argued a lot. Is that so? Ahoy there, landlubbers! Did you Matisse put the fuel in? Yes, we did. Good job! I knew you could do it. I don't understand. So, Z, are you sure they did not hurt you at all? George? George, are you okay? He passed out. Of what? I don't know, but he still has a pulse, so that's good. I'll take him to the beds. Thanks, Willow, I appreciate it. Do you think he'll be okay? I hope so. Anyway, Mimi, do you think you have the knowledge to fix my helmet, please? Oh, why didn't you say so? Let's fix it. Hey, Budgie, is it okay that we can work in your Medora? Aye, sure you can. I don't mind. Thank you so much.
Long time no see, kid. <laughs> you look familiar. Same goes to you. It's good to see you again, King Piggy. It's been months since we first met. Well, in reality, it's been over a year. A year already? Dang. Time flies, doesn't it? It sure does. Be honest with me. How do I look now compared to 2020? Now that I look at you, you look like such a poorly made piggy character that was recolored and dressed by a Draconia model. Yeah, that shows how much people evolve from piggy. I'm not as special as I was from before. Oh, come on, don't say that to yourself. You still look fine to me. <laughs> Thanks, kid. So, what am I doing here? Is this a dream or something? It's not just a dream, but it's also a vision. George, I'm not just here to talk. I'm here to tell you about what's been happening with you today. I saw what you did. You want to oof Willow. You can't use your powers just to do bad. I know you hate Willow. I do too. But remember, with great power- I know, I get it! <sighs> there are many reasons why I hate Willow so much. One, she took Zizzy away from us. Two, she broke into our safe place. Three, she broke my trap which almost led to us all screwed. Four! She almost killed one of my friends! Yes, I've seen all of it, but she couldn't control her anger. Everyone can make mistakes. King Piggy! She's an adult! She knows what she has done! I'm a kid! I know, George. But oofing her isn't going to make things better. I'm just scared, King Piggy. I'm afraid that I'll lose another friend I care about. Ever since we lost Sissy, I felt... broken in the inside. I felt hopeless to the point I just don't even care anymore. I thought it was over losing my family, but losing another loved one just hurts more. It's all her fault. Look, kid, I know the past can hurt, but we have to move on. Besides, you all are finding a cure anyways, so there's still hope for you. And you know, those tough times will make you stronger than before. Plus, you have teleportation powers. Kid, you have no idea how powerful you are. You just need more time to learn about yourself. You're right. I need to use my powers responsibly. Good! Maybe you also shouldn't hate people you immediately see. I don't want you to be one of them. You're young and you're still learning. Here's something I can tell you. People hate what they don't understand. That's basically society right now, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. So, uh, how do I wake up? I'll send you back. Okay. I have two more questions before I go. Sure, what is it? Do you think you'll ever come back to help us one day, King Piggy? I'll come back when you need it. For now, you're on your own, kid. You're strong enough to protect your friends. Okay. Also, if you're a king, does that mean Piggy takes place in the United Kingdom? <sighs> oh good, you're awake! Oh, hey. What are you doing here? You took a pretty nasty fall back there. So I took you to the beds. Oh. Thank you, Willow. Yeah, no problem. I don't understand. Why did you do all this in the first place? So, me and Lego were arguing inside the crate while you guys were upstairs. It comes to show how stupid I am these days. You had a family, right? I did have one. But I lost him to the infection. What about you? You're not alone, kid. I had a family once. My parents got arrested trying to take care of us. Or, at least that's what I thought they did. Then, a nice lady named Daisy came by and took care of us. But, she got sent to the military, so our mother figure left us after that. Then my little brother left me trying to find her. So I was left all alone for the rest of my childhood. Willow! I'm so sorry, how come you didn't tell us this before? It was a long time ago, so I thought it was unnecessary. Oh, I was too stubborn to understand you during that day. Also. How come you're not afraid of anything that gets in your way? The reason why I'm not afraid of anything is because... I literally got nothing to lose. If I ever get infected someday, then what's the point of being afraid if there's no one to support you? But we do. Let's hope the picky community doesn't see that. Yeah, there's already ships of us. Really? That's messed up. Yeah. Kid, I'm gonna make a promise to you. You were right about me. I'll never change. But, 
We will find a way to bring back your family, okay? What about yours? Mine's not important right now. Oh, come on, Willow. I'm sure we can find yours somehow. Even a decade later. Miracles happen every day. <laughs> you got some wise words, kid. What's your name, by the way? I never asked. The name is George. Well, it's nice to meet you, George. I hear something from upstairs. We should go take a look. <laughs> 